We've hit game number 30 across the weekend, and this one sees PNG, an excitement machine, up against the improvers of the competition, Vanuatu. And this one should be plenty of points, Nick. Yeah, it should be. Vanuatu showed some great signs earlier this morning in their match. Showed some great attacking moments in PNG. Well, they've been the benchmark across the whole weekend for me. Great news for fans everywhere. Naomi Kelly looks to be back in the side after having a breather this morning. Can't wait to see her go around. To PNG, ready to light it up. And Vanuatu went down earlier today against Tonga, 29 points to 10. Whereas PNG were clinical, 46 points to nil over the Solomon Islands. So a very intriguing battle coming up as the sun begins to shine at Hugh Courtney. There was some chat of some storms earlier this morning. Looks as though that has passed for now. So it'll be Vanuatu to get things started. Carol Shem in the white headgear. Two, two sides that love to throw the ball around. Get some brilliant weather now to play some attacking footy. And PNG love to attack. And they're going to get things started straight away and back themselves on that edge. And here's an opportunity. To get, gets the Fen going. Biyama, Biyama, she is away. After just 18 seconds off the kick of a quick shift to the left-hand side and shut the gate, she does the rest. And we've seen PNG do this all weekend. They're such fast starters with their pace and their ability to throw the ball around. And they can make you hurt from anywhere on the field. And straight away off the kickoff, they've attacked back down the short side. It's a brilliant work down the touchline. Big Yama, big two defenders coming across in cover. Got the big right hand fend out as we see the replay. Alois recognises the space straight away, and here we see Biyama with the two big right fends. Too good. Marie Biyama out of the Harlequins Club in Port Moresby. Gets a try and PNG now leads seven points to nil. Vanuatu have a chance of ball in hand now. And Kelly swarms up in defence, forcing them to go back on the inside. So Shem scoops and goes and plays short there to Joseph, who gets absolutely met in a good shot. But not only away the call, they get the penalty. So Shem taps and goes and they go across the field. Now here's a kick off from the little. Stab through in behind the PNG, forcing them to turn on their feet, but it's scooped up nicely. They beat two defenders, and here's some trouble now as Butler gets the pass on the inside. Our gets hit in the tackle there from Lillip, but it gets to her feet and tries to unleash Kelly. And here's trouble, Naomi Kelly. Well contained this time. She still gets the hands free to Our. Now they fling it wide to the captain, to Lois. Lois goes to the line and Flicks it wide, and there it is for Gigamat down the left-hand side, and she strides in, and she'll make it a bit easier for the conversion, and PNG get their second try in as many minutes. Or has she? Is she? She just regathered. I thought she dropped that, putting it down, but she just got a hold of it, and PNG crack their second try. She's giving her coach a heart attack, Gigamat there, but it's the work of Alois again in the middle of the field. Watch here as she uses her pace to create a three on two. And then she throws a nice pass. And hitting it with some pace was Gigamat. She, she's able to run it around under the sticks to score. But two really nice touches from the captain, Alois, to start this game. Recognising the space and then having the speed and skill to get the ball there. Such a great attribute in sevens rugby. Two great try assists to start this game. And there she is there on screen, Naomi Kelly. She's great in full flight to watch. So PNG now with two converted tries, the difference. And Vanuatu once again forced to bring it out. Shem shows and goes and takes the tackle herself. 
And Estella Sham this time, the sister duo out to Gen Leo. And Gen Leo gets the pass away out to Joseph. The holding on the call against Joseph, not releasing. So PNG will luck to go quickly once again. There's the try score, Biyama out to Lois. Butler, she was good yesterday and a good strutting off. This is what they need. Turns with the acceleration. She splits them open straight through the middle of them. And away go PNG once again. This time around it's the captain, Alice Alois, the 26-year-old, and gets their third try. She's been in everything, Alois, to start this game. Two try assists and now gets one for herself. But it's just a change of tempo here. You can see PNG just shuffling it across the field. At a slow tempo, Alois, she just claps on the pace, brings some momentum onto the ball. And that change of tempo, just enough to catch the Vanuatu defence napping. PNG side, they're just doing things a bit more quickly than the Vanuatu side. They're recycling the ball, they're shifting it quicker. Just too good at the moment. A bit of toe about it there from the captain. The restart plan has worked out great there for PNG. Sloppy off the kickoff, and Butler glides around the last defenders. And Joanne Butler gets another try. PNG running riot here in this first half. Brilliant attacking play from PNG. Straight off the kickoff. Butler, we saw her yesterday. She's a beautiful mover. She beats one, and then a little shimmy shimmy off the right foot beats a second. Too much pace. PNG go bang bang. They've blown this game wide open now. All their big stars getting involved. A real warning for the competition. And the conversion was successful. 28 points to nil. Five and a half gone in this first half. As we get underway, once again, this one's not their best effort. So Vanuatu, this is what they need. An opportunity to get some possession. As they tap and go through Tari and fling it wide now to Dixon. Dixon dummies before takes a tackle on the 40. Off the feet, the call against Butler. So they need to they need to shift it. They go up the middle, do Dixon. Going one out, won't get the five points to get this PNG side as can Leo. Gets the pass away, and this is better. It's going a bit wide. Now out to Taiwan, she puts the grubber through, chasing through, trying to get the pick up. Naomi Kelly leaves it behind, and it's picked up there from Vanuatu, and they get the result. And it's Tawai gets the kick through, and, and an unlikely error there from Naomi Kelly, and she's there to scoop up the scraps. Yeah, and much better attack from Vanuatu. We called for them just to do things a bit quicker. Some good intent here to get it to the edge. And Hannah Tawai, good option, dinks it in behind. Puts the pressure on. Maybe a slight hint of a hand in the back. It doesn't matter. She's there to pick up her own kick and scores a try. Gives her a trademark celebration. We saw that from her yesterday. Great to see Vanuatu hit back just on half time. And Nick, you were screaming for it. Had to shift. They had to shift it here in the commentary box. They listen to and they do and they get a result right on half time. So it's PNG leading 28. Points to five as Vanuatu take a, a couple of quick breaths and then we will do the same for a massive second half coming up next. Come on. 
Second half action coming up here from the Oceania Rugby Sevens. And what's turned out to be a beautiful day here at Hugh Courtney Oval on the north side of Brisbane. And Nick Vanuatu finished with a flourish on that second, on the end of the first half. They need to do the same here in the opener. Yeah, they're going to have to produce much of the same if they're going to challenge PNG in this second half. Great to see them move the ball and be rewarded for try. PNG, they've been hot in this first half. They'll look to continue that. To Vanuatu, get possession, off the kick off, but there's a knock on there at the base. So PNG will have the scrum and this is where they can really tear things apart. Open field, a set piece opportunity, this is where they do their best work Nick. They do, they know they've got strike power out on the edge, they've got great skill through the middle of the field as well. And this is just their bread and butter. There's a three feed from the 30 yard hour, and they go left side, just straightening the attack and dropping under nicely there. There's Rama. She got a couple and she flicks it back on the inside to Awa and a big left foot step to finish, and she dives under the sticks. And PNG get first points in this second half. And it's Awa backing up off the scrum. Good play here to straighten the attack. It was Rama back off the right foot with the big fin. And then Awa backing up, gets a second touch. Feels that defender over tracking with turned shoulders and the big left foot step. Sees her open, the, open them right up and score under the sticks. And Lynette Awa had the Venuatu defense on ice skates then, just couldn't move as, as fast and she was gliding across the field and gets another try for PNG. So here goes Vanuatu now trying to play some width. This is what they need to do, spread it through the hand. That's good play now. And they're opening up and stretching the legs down the right hand side. Good pass on the inside, back to Lilla. She needs to go all the way and gets it back to Leo. She dummies and before offloading it. Back to her team and in a shift left side. Keep it going, Vanuatu. Good passing skill. They're out there to Hopkins and Hopkins gets the pass away and gets left behind there from Kalpukai. And they did all the hard stuff. They made their way up the field and Nick, that's the best play they've done all year. It is. That was brilliant from Vanuatu. We spoke about just shifting the ball a bit quicker and they did that on that occasion. Found the space beautifully down the right hand side with the extra number, but it was the speed of the shift that was the real difference in their attack. And then some great support play to keep the ball alive. Back out to the left edge. I thought the pass had to go one earlier. And they might have found the try line. Unfortunately, comes unstuck. Great signs from Vanuatu. PNG now out to Segare. Now Rama. Rama. Straight through the middle, and Rama is in cruise control. That was all too easy. Gets over halfway. Venuatu is chasing back there through Estelle Shem, but she won't get there. And Fatima Rama. She's dangerous once again and goes the full length as PNG hit 40. Yeah, and that was all too easy. Straight shift off the scrum. Rama just comes off her left foot into space. She knew she was home and hose very early there. She put the cue in the rack with about 80 metres still to run. PNG just so dangerous from anywhere on the field. We've seen them score from everywhere. Kickoffs, quick taps, set plays. 42 points again here. Another cracking display for, in attack. Tell you what, the for and against is looking mighty fine for PNG. As Vanuatu, they have found a bit of success doing the quick shift, and as they keep going down 
the touchline. Sophie Shem flings it back inside Nevisavetti, and that one's a bit of a mess. That to base a shy boot coming in, the knock on coming from both ways. So PNG will have the feed here at scrum time. Once again, Vanuatu with the quick shift. The pass had to go. The last pass had to go. Chose to take it into contact. Just gave the defence the chance to regroup. PNG now being able to force the turnover. Centerfield scrum. They'll love this. Rama will be lining up for a hat trick here. Our feeds it. That's the way they come. Seguero goes to Rama. Rama, what can she do this time? Gets the fend going this time. And switches the hand for the right fan. Left fan, right fan, and try time for Rama. And she gets two on the trot. And a great bit of skill from Rama. You called it, Geordie. Just watch the way she switches, the, switches hands here. Gets it back into that left hand to palm off the, the cover coming from the inside. That's a great bit of skill, obviously. Size and speed and abundance. But those are the little things. That's the difference between scoring, potentially being tackled and having the ball locked up. And you know Nick doing that at top speed. That's incredibly hard to do what she's just done there. She made it look easy. But those micro skills on full display there for Rama. Absolutely great bit of skill. PNG leading the way once again. It's a good kick off too and makes the tackle to go with it now. Flooding the breakdown is PNG over the top it is Gigamat and she has forced a turnover. I'm not sure what the Vanuatu defense was doing there. So the penalty comes to PNG. And Kelly, Kelly wants to get in on the action. Being a bit quiet by her stand and she gets rid of two defenders. Should have played the advantage there potentially and the yellow card will come for that high shot. Yeah, Kelly should be filthy there. She'd done the hard work and broken out of the defence. Ref pulls her back. Obviously keen to get her hands on the ball. She hasn't seen much of it. Here she is again. Kelly out to Seguere. She goes to the line. She drops on the nice for a bow and she dummies and goes herself. And the last pass to Kelly. And here she is getting in on the act. And she dives across the line. Naomi Kelly gets up. Another try there for PNG. It's great work from Awa. She's been great in this game. So crafty through the middle of the field. You see the big dummy beats one. She knows she's got Kelly pouring into the space. She's just got to get the ball out in front, which she does. Kelly finds her way onto the score sheet. Not for the first time this weekend. And not for the last, I don't reckon. So PNG. Dominant once again, full-time score, 54 points to five. As we head into our final pool match of the women's competition before we head into finals footy, it'll see Samoa up against the Solomon Islands.